My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Mass today, we remember two saints from the third Christian century. They were saints, they were martyrs. Saint Fabian, who was Pope as well as being martyr, and Saint Sebastian, a Roman soldier, centurion of the guards, who was martyred for professing the Christian faith. Now the martyrs remind us of the importance of faith in our lives. Faith, which is not simply when we gather to celebrate the Christian mysteries. Faith, which is really what guides us in everything we say and we do. We have to remember that the word martyr is not principally about dying for Jesus. It's principally about giving witness to that which we believe. And in today's two readings, we have a great understanding of what we are called to give witness to. In the reading from the Hebrews, we remember that God has continually throughout all of human history been calling a people to himself. Through different covenants along salvation history, through different prophets, through different patriarchs, ever more closely has he brought us into his heart. Ever more closely has he drawn us into communion with him until perfectly it was done in the person of Jesus who took on our very life so we might take on his very life, who died so we might live. This is where God has shown us what his love is for us. And this is where God has shown us what our love is to be for him and for each other. It is not easy to profess this love. It is not easy to proclaim it. But it is only this full expression of what love is that has the capacity to transform not only us, but through us to transform the world around us. The martyrs also remind us that as Christians, as we give witness, it's not simply saying, look, here, this is what we do. It's not simply saying, look, let me teach you what I believe in. It is showing people in our words and in our actions, not only when we gather in church, but in every moment of our lives. As Christ has called us, we are to be his light in the world, calling others out of darkness, calling others into the light of God that shows them who they are, that shows them the great worth God has called them to. It's very powerful in today's gospel that Jesus calls his 12 apostles by name. He knows their families. He knows their past. Certainly he knows their brokenness and their sinfulness. But he doesn't call a perfect people. He perfects the people he called. And it's always interesting, of course, that in that list of those who are called, we include Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. Jesus knows that as he calls to follow him, we will fall short. Jesus knows that there will be those who betray him. But Jesus always gives us that opportunity to find our better nature. That opportunity to repent from our brokenness, from our sins, and to follow him more closely each day. Jesus has called us each to that great vocation to be his presence of love in this world, to be his light that calls others out of darkness, to be that voice which cries out and reminds people that what we are about is not finding perfection in this earth. It's not finding the great success. It's not finding the perfect fortune. What we are about is finding God's glory in this life letting his light shine, preparing ourselves for eternal glory. And as the martyrs remind us, sometimes and perhaps often, that runs against the order around us. But simply because speaking the truth can make things uncomfortable for us is not an excuse to cease speaking. It's not an excuse to turn away those who have gone before us and have been shining examples of faith remind us that we as church are strongest, not when we blend in, but when we are that voice 
for the person of Christ. That voice for our brothers and sisters who are in pain. For the stranger, for the foreigner, for the orphan, for those who are ill, for the elderly. Today, let us ask God for that grace. That we as church may continue to be his light in the world. And give glory to him in everything we say and do.